Welcome to Aeronet's Visual Simulation Training Program for the Airbus A320. The anti-icing system consists of wing anti-icing, engine anti-icing, window heating, and probes heating subsystems. Hot engine bleed air is used to anti-ice the wing slats and the engine's nacelles. Electrical heat is used to anti-ice the flight deck windows, the angle of attack probes, the total air temperature probes, the pitot probes, the static ports, and the wastewater drain masks. Wipers are used to remove rain from the front windshield panels. The anti-ice controls are located on the overhead anti-ice panel. Wiper controls are also located on the overhead panel. Anti-icing information is displayed on the upper ECAM memo section and on the ECAM bleed page. In flight, hot air from the pneumatic system protects the three outboard slats 3, 4, and 5 of each wing. The air is supplied through the wing anti-ice valve. The wing anti-ice push-button switch on the anti-ice panel controls the valves for both wings. When the wing anti-ice push-button switch is in its off position, the valves close. Touch the wing anti-ice push-button switch. In flight, with the wing anti-ice push-button switch selected on, the wing anti-ice valves open, the message wing anti-ice appears in the ECAM memo section, and the ECAM bleed page displays green arrows. On the ground, Selecting the wing anti-ice push-button switch on will initiate a test of the wing anti-ice valves for 30 seconds. Then the anti-ice valves will close. The amber fault light illuminates if the wing anti-ice valves are in transit, are not in the commanded position, or low bleed pressure is detected. The wing anti-ice valves close automatically if a bleed leak is detected in the system or the electrical power supply fails. Independent bleed air from the high-pressure compressor is used to anti-ice each engine nacelle. The bleed air is supplied through a two-position valve, one for each engine. The valves are controlled by the engine 1 and engine 2 push-button switches on the anti-ice panel. When the engine 1 or 2 push-button switch is in its off position, the respective valve closes. Touch the engine one push button switch.
When the Engine 1 and Engine 2 anti-ice push-button switches are selected on, the engine anti-ice valves open, the ECAM memo message Engine Anti-Ice is displayed, and Continuous Ignition is automatically selected on. The Amber Engine Anti-Ice Push-Button Switch Fault Light illuminates if the engine anti-ice valve is in transit or not in the commanded position. The engine anti-ice valve closes automatically if bleed air is not available. The valve opens if electrical power fails. The aircraft uses electrical heating for cockpit windshield anti-ice and side window defogging. Two window heat computers, or WHCs, control window anti-icing. The window heat computers automatically monitor the system, protect it against overheating, and transmit fault messages to the ECAM. With the probe window heat push button switch in the auto position, Window heating comes on automatically when at least one engine is running or when the aircraft is in flight. You may manually turn on window heating by pressing the probe window heat push button switch to its on position. Window heat operates at low power on the ground and high power in flight. Electrical heating is used to protect pitot probes, static ports, angle of attack probes, and total air temperature probes. Three probe heat computers, or PHCs, control the probe's anti-icing system. The PHCs automatically control and monitor the system, protect it against overheating, and transmit fault messages to the ECAM. The probe's anti-icing system is controlled by the probe window heat push button switch located on the anti ice panel. The probes are heated automatically if the switch is in its auto lights out position, with at least one engine running or in flight. When the aircraft is on the ground, the TAT probes are not heated and PITO heating is in low power. High power is automatically selected when the aircraft is in flight. Touch the probe window heat push button switch. With the probe window heat push button switch selected on, the probes are heated at any time using low power on the ground and high power in flight. The TAT probes are not heated on the ground. Two-speed electric wipers are used to remove rain from the front windshields. Identical rotary selectors located on the overhead panel control the wipers. Each rotary selector has a slow and fast position. When turned off, the wiper is parked out of view. Touch a wiper rotary selector. During the cockpit safety check, check that the wiper rotary selector is in the off position and the probe window heat push button switch is in the auto lights out position. 
During the cockpit geographic check, check that the wiper rotary selector is in the off position. On the anti-ice panel, check the wing anti-ice, the engine one, and engine two push button switches are in their normal off lights out position. Next, check that the probe window heat push button switch is in the auto lights out position. After engine start, confirm that the wing anti-ice push button switch is in the off lights out position. Select engine one and engine two anti-ice push button switches on if the outside air temperature is plus 10 degrees Celsius or below and visible moisture is present. Icing conditions also exist while taxiing on the ground where surface snow, standing water, or slush may be ingested by the engines. In flight, select the engine anti-ice push button switches on when the TAT is plus 10 degrees Celsius or below and visible moisture in any form is present except during climb or cruise when the SAT is minus 40 degrees Celsius or below. In flight, select the wing anti-ice push button switch on any time that ice accretion is observed on the wings, ice detector probe, or fuselage. Touch the wing anti-ice push button switch to turn it off. With the wing anti-ice push button switch turned off and the wing anti-ice valve not in the closed position, the wing anti-ice valve open fault will be displayed. A single chime sounds, the master caution light illuminates, the ECAM bleed page is automatically displayed, and an amber fault light is illuminated on the wing anti-ice push button switch. The ECAM message area advises that the wing anti-ice is available in flight because the valve has failed to the safe open position. After landing, the ECAM will request that the engine bleed be turned off to prevent wing heating on the ground. Touch the wing anti-ice push button to turn it on. The wing anti-ice system fault indicates that the left anti-ice valve has not opened when the switch was selected on. ECAM actions are to turn off the wing anti-ice and avoid icing conditions. Touch the wing anti-ice switch to turn it off. Touch both engine one and engine two anti-ice push button switches to turn them on. When the engine anti-ice is turned on and an engine anti-ice valve remains in the closed position, the engine valve closed fault is triggered. The fault light illuminates on the engine anti-ice push button switch and the only ECAM warning is to avoid icing conditions as the associated engine anti-ice is inoperative. Overheating of a windshield or failure of the associated sensor causes the windshield fault. Crew awareness is required. If probe or static port heating is faulty, its associated fault will be triggered. With the captain's pitot heat fault, the crew action is to switch the air data selector to captain on three, which will supply air data from the Air Data Inertial Reference Unit 3 and the standby probes. Touch the Air Data Selector to transfer the captain to Air Data Inertial Reference Unit number 3. If a probe heat computer fails, its associated fault will be displayed. In this case, the number two probe heat computer has failed, resulting in the first officer's probes to become inoperative. The ECAM action is to switch the air data selector to first officer on three, thus 
supplying air data from air data inertial reference unit number three and the standby probes. Touch the air data selector switch to select first officer on three.